Hey. Guess what? I have a chin mask. You do have a chin mask. <laughs> that is awkward. I mean, yeah. we're in our own office. We're so married. Embarrassing. So embarrassing. We already yeah. had a conversation about that. Sean and it's Don. It's Friday here. Live. It's not Friday. Did you say it's that yet? Live. It's Sean and Don. We did not do a video last week. Sorry. So we're going to recap. Our thousands of followers were wondering where our video they was. Were, we yeah. actually, we did get so someone many to say, messages. hey, where's the message? Where's the we video? had one person. We had one person. <laughs> I look forward to your video <laughs> all the time. All right. Let's talk about today's uh, lineup. Lineup. How to maximize your SK membership, right? Like we're going to talk about how to do this for a three-day membership and a max membership those are our two main things mm -hmm. we're going to talk about last week's featured athlete since we missed last week's birthdays this week's featured athlete and this week's birthdays and then we'll wrap it up with how to get a hold of us high five chest bumps bam how off we go. go yep all right so how to get the max the the most out of your membership when you come to sk yeah so it's a, it's a good topic actually it's come up um several times in the last couple of weeks with different members different uh consults that we've done and so as we were talking about it it's like this would be good to to rehash yeah to talk through with people again so some of the supplies to both membership types, our primary, which is three mm -hmm. days, and our, our and max, those are our two primary membership types. Um, some will apply to just you know the three one day or the, the max, yeah. one or the other. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say the if you're a three day membership, one of the key things here is getting in all three days, right? So Correct. we feel as coaches that the sweet spot for really seeing that change in your body, um, mental clarity and all those other things that you wanna see is about five days, right? So we try to encourage people to try to figure out how to get five days, four to five days, but on average, trying to get to the gym about five times a week, if not um, five, at least four. So if you're a three-day member, it makes it critical that you get here. That you not miss any of that's those, those three, three days. days. Yeah. And we've had other videos where we talk about how you prioritize your workouts and how do you do that. It really takes planning on yourself, right? Scheduling it in and, and making sure you're getting to those classes. Right. And making sure that you are the most important Thing for that particular hour yeah right and then also with that hour when you are here make sure that you're maximizing your hour too that goes that goes without saying but often um, coming in a little bit earlier getting some of that mobility stretching stuff out of the way maybe staying a little bit later and working on some of your yeah. drills that means your entire hour really can be focused on what is important here um, it's also it tends to get a little social for people too which is important so don't waste your hour on the social part though not that that's a waste but um, that full 60 minutes is programmed for you to get the most out of it so if you are a CrossFit member and you're three days a week what are your most important days I, I'm gonna it depends on your mm -hmm. goals but statistically speaking based most people it's gonna be Monday Wednesday and Friday mm -hmm. and why is that because we front end those days with some sort of focused strength um, today was push jerk running girl what was on deadlift on on, deadlift. on Monday Friday uh, back, back squat right so we, we focus on some sort of primary lift before we go into the high intensity portion at the end mm -hmm. and it's critical to have a foundation of strength yes before starting to move on to advanced movements or starting cycling to the bar cycling or, really quick yeah, yeah so that's why we actually before it used to be all over the place and we're like no we're gonna make every monday wednesday on friday because we hit the most members at that time in the crossfit class right if you are an endurance person and you're looking for those longer style workouts those are tuesday and and Thursday in the CrossFit classes, mm -hmm. right? Right. Um, so we, we recommend that you're always hitting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Boot campers, you get to come in and just hit those three days for sure. They focus on strength in that as well, yep. but it, it's a different type of uh, strength build or progressive overload than what right. we're used to seeing in CrossFit. Right. Right. So, so one another way that a three-day-a-week member, like we were talking, I know it doesn't always fit everyone's budget to go max, even though that's probably the sweet spot as far as attendance. Mm -hmm. But can a three-day uh, membership work? And I had a good conversation 
conversation with someone just a couple days ago about this very thing, you know, not quite ready to bump up um, for scheduling and budget, right? But plans to down the road, but how to maximize that three days. So um, my recommendation was obviously never miss a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because the goal is to get stronger. However, like you said, he loves the endurance stuff because he's a runner and that's his background and he loves that long, sweaty session. Um, so my advice was don't miss your Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because that's your focus strength, but on your own time on Tuesday and Thursday, or maybe you're sprinkling in a Saturday, then you're doing those other things on your own. So maybe it's following our programming with a few things that you have at home and doing the best you can, um, or just doing your own thing on those days. As long as you're layering in something on those in-between days, it can still be very effective. So, yeah. yeah. Um, the, uh, the next things here, and these are in no particular order of importance, <laughs> right? These are just um, talking points here. Uh, I feel it's really important to try to get connected, right? Mm -hmm. So first you're consistent, then you're connected. And, and it's hard, right? We're, we're all shy people. Typically, we don't just go out there and be like, hey. Um, but talk to your coach. Say, I'm brand new. Or, hey, who, who should I work out with? Or, is you know, ask your coach for help with placement, what you're working on, whatever it might be. I work with new athletes all the time and I will go ahead and place them with other athletes. Yeah, partner them up. And I'm yeah. like, hey, you know, you're gonna be with JT today. And JT's awesome. It breaks the ice. All of a sudden you start feeling welcome and it's just a really good way to start seeing what the community is all about. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But don't be shy, talk to your coach. He the, will help with that. The other he or she. The other she. thing is to um, Try, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you this because it's really important, but I'm also saying if you are late to class, please still come. Try to get here right on time. Like, mm -hmm. there is a lot packed into an hour. And, and believe it or not, your coaches are usually looking at who's reserved and the time on the clock and figuring out, you know, when, you know, if it's, if you're late, can I wait two extra minutes mm -hmm. or do I have to go now? Because they have a whole, you know, um, plan plan for that class mm -hmm. and so oftentimes and if you miss a, a portion of it you, yeah. you might miss the instructions you know i miss a critical piece there right. so try to get there on time yes join mighty networks post in mighty networks start to see what read about read our, our member spotlights right so that you get can to actually know get to yeah. know people there's yeah. a really cool uh community out there um, Introduce well, yourself in there if you're brand new. Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, we had a couple. Oh, I had one lady I just saw. Yeah, I think that, it's great. That yep. introduced herself. Um, use that. Use that as a tool. Yeah. If you have something that's really cool that you do. Throw it in there. Absolutely. Yeah. It's uh, a good communication tool. Get out there and do that. Yeah. Once you're consistent, so a lot of people are like they try to jump ahead. I want to schedule goal setting. I want to do all this stuff. <laughs> you're biting off more than you can chew quite often quite often consistency is key yep once you're attendance, consistent yeah. with your attendance now it's time to schedule a goal setting meeting yes and if you follow at the end of our video the same way people get contact with us it's the same way you do as a member to set your goal setting but it it's dumb <laughs> <laughs> to sit there and set a goal set, set setting goal setting meeting until you can sh prove to yourself that you can be consistent in right. this. Right, because when we sit down with you, that's going to be the first thing. Yeah, absolutely. What days do you attend? You know, what can you maintain? And we're going to assume that that's already in place. Yeah. Um, however, often, like, someone's goal is consistency and being accountable. So we can help talk through those. And how can you help yourself become more consistent and help, you know, with yeah. some of those t tips and tools? But that really needs to be in place. Um, with the goal sessions, it's interesting because a lot of our members don't take advantage of that. Um, even our three-day week members, it is free to you to schedule a goal session to come in and sit down with me and to talk through what your goals are maybe you haven't had that opportunity th with your coach or maybe you've been too nervous to approach them um, but you really have some things that you want to start checking off your list or you want to know what is even available to you in your membership a lot of our max members don't realize that they have nutrition help mm -hmm. included that they have in bodies included in their membership that that goal session 
the extra strength programming, endurance programming, all that stuff is available to you. And we have all of it and we love to get you plugged in with those things. So um, sit down with us. It takes, you know, 15, 20 minutes just to talk through your goals. It's important to come to those, though, with some goals in mind. Yeah. So goals should be specific realistic and time bound so specific not i wish i could run faster no right i want to run a one mile in seven minutes seven minutes okay (laughs) that's a specific goal that's a specific goal now Mm -hmm. um if you say you want to do that in one month and right now your current uh one mile is 12 minutes it's it it's not a little realistic. It's not realistic. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's unrealistic for you yeah. to get there. So make sh- it doesn't mean you can't still have that as your overall objective. You might just need to add a little time. It might say, hey, in one month I'd like to be down to eleven minute mile, and in two months mm-hmm. I want to be down to a ten minute mile. That's more realistic, Correct. right? Yeah. So make sure your goals are realistic for you. Um, and if you're not sure, we will tell you once we kind of talk to you, like, mm, it's probably not the right yeah. goal. How about we have you thought about it this way? Um, so that's really cool. We talked yeah. about the accountability buddy, right, coming mm-hmm. in there. Yeah. Um, if you have a friend or maybe you have a friend that's interested. I've had a few members recently that are like, they've made their friend join the gym just so that they would have someone that would bug them about coming. So do that if that works for you. Ask us. Find someone here. Yeah. Um, have someone that messages you. Often, I've done that with a lot of our members. I'll give them a text before. I'm fine to do that, too. So whatever works for you. Well, yeah. and, and once again, we've said this before. If, you're, if you have an injury, come in. We will work around it. Yeah. Right? We will definitely work around mm-hmm. that for you. Um, and, in fact, I have one of my morning ladies. She's been dealing with some really bad pinched nerve stuff. And mm-hmm. this morning, we were just in mobility and a little bit of work. And we brought out a, a book. And we were looking like, at other hey, things yeah. that we could start doing, working on to try to help break that up. Because that's most important for her yeah. right now so she can get back to actually moving properly. Right. right. Yep. So find those things. What else do we have there? Huh. I think we covered all of it, mostly. Well, um, take care of the extra. So, like, we do a lot of things, like special workshops and stuff. Um, If you're a max member, those get thrown in for almost all the time for free uh, Mm -hmm. for you. Do those. Yep. Right? There's something going on right now with Ladies ladies Lift. Lift. Awesome. It's been awesome. We're going to talk a little bit about that um, next week. Yeah, Um, but sign up for those things. Take part in them. Yeah. It's a great opportunity to learn more and just be exposed to other people. Um, This has been really fun for our ladies. So really take advantage of those things. So consistency. Try other classes too, potentially, right? If you're struggling in something, try something else. Like maybe a different time, even if it time, different coach, different format. Yeah. Try a boot camp if you always do CrossFit. Go to Pulse, totally different. Yeah, Pulse is totally different. And and a lot of fun, right? Pulse is great. If your membership doesn't cover Pulse, like if you're on a three day a week membership and you're still interested in trying Pulse, you can try it. Just let let us know. We're happy to let you try that out and see if you're considering bumping up or whatnot. So so consistency, getting involved is what's going to make you. challenges too. Yeah, is what's going to get you to feel connected and then when you're connected all of a sudden you start seeing man i want to go there right. and they when you start when showing up and you <laughs> and you start seeing the results because now you're showing up right it, it's it, it has to happen that way you have to show up to see results yes. right um then all of a sudden the magic starts happening mm-hmm. right yeah now we will warn you some of you you, you, you try too fast to get to the to the next level, and we try to pull you back. So we love it when you're eager um, to do certain things, but when your coach says, we're not quite ready right mm-hmm. now. Just trust the process. Believe us, it's because we know what the underlying amount of strength you need before you go on to a certain movement. So we're like, not ready yet, let's work on these movements, you're gonna get there. Um, listen to your coach there's no rush there is no rush right even though it feels like a one it all right now I want to do it all right now so stay connected come in talk to people create plans with people to show up here because just like if you're struggling for whatever reason someone else might be struggling so when you if you went over to me and said man Can we be accountability buddies? I would love to be here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You might not realize that, man, I'm struggling too. That would be great. Mm -hmm. You know, I might just say, awesome. What can we do, right? 
And also now we have two people that are feeling successful. Guarantee you other people are feeling the same as you. Guarantee yep. you. Guarantee you. So. Yeah. Uh, that's a shout out. Okay. So let's yeah, move on here. Um, last, last week's, week's featured, featured athlete. Last week's featured athlete. Birthdays. So Christy Dakota yeah, awesome. from last week. She's awesome. She's a newer member with newer. us. Newer. Uh, like during the pandemic. Yeah. But, you know, it's been going on forever. It's hard to tell. <laughs> so thank you, Christy, for being an awesome member. Sir. Sorry we missed you last week. If you haven't met her yet. I'll, I'll, I'll post a photo over here yeah, somewhere, right? Yeah, if you haven't met her yet. She's really sweet. I'm really enjoying getting to know her. The few times I've walked by and we've had a little chat. She's so. very sweet. Yeah. Uh, Birthdays from last week last that week. we missed. We have Ty Hathaway, Mike Maynard, and Matt Perry. Okay, how about three dudes? this week's featured athlete? Featured athlete, Omar. If you missed it, Ranjit actually reshared it on oh, all our social media, so that was fun. So She must have been proud, Omar. <laughs> so, featured athlete, Omar, one of our OG members, is been with us since almost the beginning of Storm King. Yeah. Um, or I think from the beginning, anyway. Um, and his whole family um, has been with us. Ranjit, his wife, and then his three kids. Um, Taryn just headed off to college, so we won't see her anymore, but the other two younger ones are Don't still cry. here. So, How about this week's birthday? Birthdays, Jeremy Wynn, Brian Smith, and Kennedy Mason. Coach Kennedy My Mason. My very own Kennedy yeah. Mason. Yeah. <laughs> So that's the yeah, major happy lineup. Birthday, happy birthday, everyone. That's the major lineup for this week. If you want to get a hold of us, um, learn how to, if you're not a member, right, you're going to follow these instructions. You're going to go up into the Storm King Athletic Club, look in the upper right-hand corner, free intro. If you're a non-member, you're going to say non-member. If you're a member, remember we said this earlier, click on the goal setting, schedule a meeting, come on in, we'll jam, we'll talk to you. If you love it, awesome. If not, yeah. right? No High five deal. and off you go. Yeah. So. Also, members, just know that when you see me here, too, because I'm here every day walking through classes, right? You can always grab me. We can schedule something that way, too. Yeah. It's easy. So. Yeah, that way. All right, guys. All right. Have a great, Have a great, great weekend. Week.